Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my quick morning cleaning routine with you. You'll notice that this is a short video because I don't do a whole lot of deep and heavy cleaning in the morning. This is just kind of how I reset our home and get it ready for the day. So the first thing I do is tidy up our bedroom, get our bed made, open the blinds, you know, anything that's laying around the bedroom I put away, but it generally stays pretty clean. So it usually only takes me a couple of minutes to get it all reset and get the bed made. Once the bed's made, the next thing I do is throw in a load of laundry. So on this day I'm doing clothing laundry, but I pretty much do a load of laundry every day. Sometimes I'll wash our blankets or towels or sheets or dish towels or cleaning rags. Just every day I try to do some little load of laundry because it helps me stay on top of it. I had already put the detergent in the laundry machine, that's why I didn't put it in there. And then I start that. Once the laundry is going, which I will dry and fold later in the day, I get to our kitchen. So the way that our kind of dishes rhythm goes is that after dinner, the person who did not cook usually is the person who will go ahead and clean up the kitchen and put all the dishes in the dishwasher and run the dishwasher. And then in the morning, I'll go ahead and unload it and then reload it with any other dishes that are left over, which you can see there are just a few here clustered to the left of our sink. While I'm continuing to unload and reload the dishwasher, I just want to mention here kind of how my general home cleaning routine goes because I know some people clean every morning a different room in their house or something and I've done things like that in the past different cleaning schedules. But what I've actually found that works best for me is to deep clean our house every time we are having overnet overnight house guests and to do like a thorough kind of more surface level cleaning whenever we're having people over for dinner. We host a lot of overnight house guests. I mean, we probably have overnight house guests at least once a month, if not more. And then we host parties and dinner parties and things like that, usually at least one or two other times a month. So that's a minimum usually of three times a month that we're having people over. So that's three times a month that we're really cleaning our house. And so when it's overnight house guests, I will scrub the floors, wipe down the cabinets, scrub everything down, and just deep, deep, deep clean the entire home. So that's happening at least once a month, sometimes twice a month. And then, like I said, when we're having people over for dinner or for a party, then everything gets wiped down a little bit lighter, not quite such a deep clean, but still, you know, we'll vacuum and we wipe down everything. So that's what works well for us. It's kind of a funny cleaning routine because it's based around having guests, but I mean, we've had... I can't even tell you how many house guests we've had already this year, literally at least one a month. So works well for us. Moving on into our den, and um, this is the area right off our kitchen. We we call it like some people call it the keeping room. Um, we refer to it as the den, but like in house plans, a lot of times this is called the keeping room. Anyway, it is this place where we spend lots of time in the evenings. It's where we watch TV or movies together. We'll sit and read together. We'll, you know, just relax and talk together in here. We just spend a lot of time in our den. And so it gets a little disheveled pretty much every night from just lounging under blankets with pillows. And so I'll just come in here and kind of fluff it all up, fold the blankets and put the pillows back where they belong. A lot of times there will be shoes left over that we've kicked off and I'll go and put those back in the closet. The remotes are usually scattered. Some of our dog's toys are scattered. It's just kind of, it's the place where we spend a lot of time. Often there will be like half empty cups or empty water cups, things like that. Just all that kind of stuff I try to tackle in the morning so that this room is reset for the rest of the day for us since we do spend so much time in it in the evenings in particular. This room, one thing I do want to mention before I get 50 comments about it is um, where we have our fires. You can see we have a fireplace and in the fall and winter we have a fire pretty much every day that it's cold enough to have one. And you can see that there's some smoke staining on our fireplace and it's just because the stone is very, very porous and it's just kind of absorbed that smoky color. We have tried the magic eraser, we've tried a variety of different products, and it's we'll get it to fade, but then it kind of just comes back. And so at this point, we are just calling it character. We're not worried about it. But just so you know, there was not like an explosion in our fireplace or anything like that. It's just kind of how it looks. The last thing I do each morning after cleaning up those other parts of the house is to finish out my to-do list for the day. I will link above a video where I go into detail about how this works, but basically at the beginning of the week on a Sunday, usually I lay out my whole week with things I know I'm doing, like timed appointments and meetings, and then on each morning I go ahead and add in all the different things that I would like to accomplish in that given day. So that's what I'm doing now, and then this is kind of the last step of my morning cleaning routine because it sets me up for success for the rest of the day. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Would love to hear how you start your mornings, how you reset your home for the day. Leave me a comment below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.